What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Burly Fishing and another unboxing on the channel. Today we're looking at the Bass Fishing Kit. I don't know if you guys have seen this. It's been hitting sporting goods stores, in my case Dick Sporting Goods, lately. And I keep walking past like a full-on display of it and I'm like, ah, next time. And I finally decided to pick one up. Like, why not? I can unbox it on the channel. We'll see what you guys think. We'll see what I think. I don't know. I have no expectations for this thing. I imagine it's gotta be like an all-in-one kit, right? Let's see how it stacks up though in today's video. And before we crack this bad boy open, and before we crack this bad boy open, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you like the content, smash the like button and ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos. Let's get to this. All right, so security seal hacked. All right, oh look, sleeve, standard MTB box. It's a secret. All right, that out of here. Let's get our first little peeky poo here. Okay. Okay. Okay, all right, so right off the top, you got a frog. I should have bought this box earlier in the year. Uh, so it's September now, it's cold. This is not their fault. They've had these on the shelves forever. So no knock to the box for this. These frogs are pretty dope. They're not my favorite frogs, uh, the Guggenbaits frogs, but they catch fish. Uh, a little harder to catch fish on them up here. I like a more plush frog, one where the plastic isn't as dense as these are. Packaging, you gotta give it up to the Guggens and Catch Co on the packaging though, it's pretty legit. And of course, the main reason we all get this frog is because it says, eat me on the top, and that's ridiculous. Love this color though, love black colored frogs. They are my favorite frogs, hands down to throw. But again, here's this plastic. It is super dense, uh, not my favorite. I like a little more plush of a frog. Um, this thing is like a monster hunter for sure, but it makes it tough to catch you know, anything under two and a half, three pounds, uh, just from experience there. But great color, good size, good hooks, uh, good looking skirt on that too. And of course, you know, it says eat me. So I mean, something will eat it, right? If they read. Uh, good frog though, overall. Next up, got a couple of inserts. Okay, cool. So this, what is this? Bass fishing kit. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, there's five things in here, right? Um, it was 20 bucks, by the way, too. So it's like their lower price box range, right? So it's 20 bucks uh, when you buy this at the store. You get your standard Dibble Digest, which you get in your normal boxes as well. Got some tips in here, some acronyms, some goofy stuff, how to fish, things like that. So a couple tips in there for beginner fishermen for sure. Uh, okay, definitely not a great thing to have in a box, but Eagle Claw hooks. Um, whoa, whoa, okay. I see what they're doing here actually. So this is a Plano hook pack which means it is not just any one type of hook. It is a plethora of types of hooks. It looks like mostly little straight shank hooks and offset worm hooks. So we got, for whatever reason, some tiny little straight shanks. We got some offset worm hooks and some bait keeper hooks. So if were to take this as the all-in-one box that I think it's supposed to be, you got enough hooks to catch something to eat, and you got enough hooks to catch something for sport, like some bass or something like that. So you got you know, something to rig, hopefully whatever's in this box, we're gonna find out. Uh, next up, we got DNL Tackle. DNL Tackle, no idea, but we got a jig. Looks like a flipping jig. Very interesting flipping jig. So this is three eighths of an ounce. <laughs> the color is Advantage Enema. Okay. Uh, you know, heavy gauge hook there. It's pretty heavy. It's gonna stand like that on the bottom. Big old skirt, like very, very pronounced skirt. But it's in like some green pumpkin, some orange, some red in there. Uh, green pumpkin head. I mean, it's a good colorway for sure. And then look at the line tie there. Line tie is like buried. I don't see that too often on jigs, but I like it. I mean, less opportunity to like brush up against some rocks and like break your line off. 
we got a very ooh, very stiff brush guard there so i mean it's a it's a flipping jig you're gonna throw it in some heavy cover for sure i mean it'll get the job done so so far we got a frog we got hooks we got a jig these are like some no nonsense catch some fish kind of bait so let's get to some plastics so that we can rig something on these hooks and maybe even on these jigs okay so they went right to it they got their yodo worm with that tickle tail and apparently this only comes in one color does this come in other colors I haven't seen. I've gotten it in my monthly MTB Elite box, and now I'm getting it in this, and I've only gotten this color so far. It's a uh, Sungill. This is a almost a five inch, kind of a paddle tail bait. I gotta be honest, I hate their packaging for this. I wish it was, you know, one of these, like everything else. <laughs> Makes it kind of a pain to carry around. But check this thing out. This thing is nuts. It does catch fish. Um, I haven't caught a ton of fish on it, but you've got this like crazy ribbed body here. There's that tickle tail. I'm not even moving and it's just going nuts. It looks like I have friggin' cerebral palsy right now, but uh, it's crazy action. Look at this thing, nuts. Love the action. Uh, you've got like little, little hook guides little hook berry areas, little hook keeper section, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then the more dense head section where you're going to poke that hook in. Uh, so we got straight shank hooks. It's not, this is an EWG rigging style. So I can't really rig these to the hooks that came in here. I'm not sure why they did that. I mean, you could, there's just no room for the fish to bite down and get hooked. That's why you want an EWG. On an EWG hook, you, you know, the fish is gonna bite down on it and the plastic's gonna move down into the wide gap section of the hook and then you're hooked. But on a straight shank, the straight shank is less than the width of the plastic. So there's not a lot of give to this where I can actually catch a gosh dang fish. So if I, if I Texas rig this, for example, yeah, I can't, I can't do this. If you Texas rig it, look, there's, there's your hook right there. So there's no real give or anywhere for this plastic to go. So kind of a miss there. I'm not sure why they did that. Say maybe a, a full on assortment, maybe some offset worm hooks and some EWGs would have been a nice combo to throw into this box. Just a, just a thought. All right. Last thing though, we got some Bass Dynasty worms and these are actually, so this is the Dyna curl. These are pretty sweet worms. So this, this would be a win in the box, right? So check this out. Your packaging is garbage. There's a gosh dang staple in there, but let's just ignore that for a second. Oh, Ugh. why is this like this? <laughs> this is possibly like the worst packaging next to those death wish paddle tails that I've ever gotten from MTB. Uh, look, look, staples on all sides. How, how is this going to stay? Just do a clamshell. Like I don't, I don't get it. What color we got here? So this is, Speckled moss is the color, but check this out. So we got a worm, right? And we're gonna we're gonna wacky rig this. Guess what? We didn't get any wacky hooks in this kit. You can throw that on the tiny straight shank, or you can wacky rig it on an offset worm hook. It's definitely not ideal. The worm is cool. We'll talk about the kit in a second. So you got like these little curls, curly tail on both sides. I actually love this worm. I'm super stoked to fish this thing. Uh, so this is like this grayish greenish color with some black and gold flakes in there not bad and then you get that added action so like it's already wacky rigged got some action right get the added action of these little curly tails on either end now if i want to use that the the offset worm hook i guess i could ruin this plastic bite off one end of it and texas rig this and you got like this little tiny curly tail it's kind of finessey though for that you know to texas rig it uh, we do get a lot of plastics in here so this is what is this four eight so you get eight of those bad boys not bad definitely not a fan of this plastic container this little pseudo clamshell packaging with staples in it that's not great oh and then you get a little sticker just a little guy all right so we have that bath dynasty dyna curl in there we have the ten thousand fish yodo worm we had the random assortment of straight shank and offset worm hooks from eagle claw we got that dnl tackle jig flipping jig and we got the uh, the good old Guggen Squad Eat Me Frog, right? So, how does this box stack up? Is it an all-in-one fishing kit? I say, no, you didn't give me the right dang hooks, 
right? Like, what is that about? Uh, I should have had wacky hooks, maybe like one knot wide gap hooks or smaller size, like mosquito hooks, whatever. Something I can actually wacky rig to would be ideal. And then the Yoda worm needs an EWG. So my problem is we got the wrong hooks in this box. I can't rig anything with those hooks. Uh, if I find some worms or go buy some worms, I can do the bait keeper hooks and catch some bluegill, some crappie, something like that. That's fine. No bobbers, no sinkers. So I, I'm trying to determine like, is this supposed to, it's a bass fishing kit, right? Is it supposed to be all in one or is it just like kind of another MTB box that you can just buy at a sporting goods store? In which case, I don't think it's as fun. I'd rather just get that in the mail. That's kind of part of the enjoyment I get out of these subscription boxes is that you get it in the mail, it's a mystery. It's like Christmas, right? You're like, what's gonna be in here? Every month is a mystery. Whereas this is like, you go to the store, you're already at the store. Just buy the things you want. <laughs> I get the mailbox, cause then I forget about it. Subscription shows up and I'm like, yeah, cool. I get all these extra lures. I don't go to the store to get a mystery box. And I don't know if you noticed, but on the sleeve of that box, it had a number on it. So if you guys go to the store and you pick these up, uh, they've got like different series that they put out. So I got like a series 47, whatever that means. But you have no idea what's gonna be in this box. So you're buying a mystery at the store in the aisle where all the things you want are. So I'd say just buy the things you want, guys. <laughs> I don't, I'm a no-go on this box. I'm never buying one again. <laughs> um, that was, interesting but if i want if i if i'm at the store i'm just gonna buy what i want and i would highly recommend you guys do the same that was a big miss for me very strange um will it catch fish yes but obviously you still need all of your other tackle because nothing matches up in this box so i mean you can't even what am i gonna do i could bite the yoda worm in half and put it on here as a trailer and i could use the wrong hooks on uh the worm not ideal. Anyways, so that was the bass fishing kit available at, uh, I don't know, most sporting goods stores. So Dick's Sporting Goods for one, it's a national chain, so you guys probably have them around you. Um, not sure if they picked them up at like Academy Sports or Walmart or anything like that. I just know that they have this deal with Dick's. So check it out if you want to. I'm a no-go on this box. I will not be buying one again. Um, I'm not even gonna do an on the water test of that thing. You get some stuff in there. But hey, hopefully this is helpful for you guys if you've been going down the fishing aisles at the store and you're like, huh, MTB box, I wonder what that's like. Hopefully I've answered that question for you. That's what it's like. Uh, but if this was helpful, if you like the content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash a like on this video, ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos. We'll see you out on the water. Hey there, thank you so much for watching the video today. If you wanna see more content like this, be sure to click this circle, wherever it is right here, to subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna watch more videos or check out a playlist from me, you can check out this video over here, this general area, or this video over here. So you got lots of options.